Hi there, this is going to be a quick explanation of how to calculate surface area from a raster, knowing um, the number of cells that represent a certain feature and the cell area. So in this example, just imagine this is a pond uh, and we've mapped it using a grid. We've got a raster surface with a map of a lake. These blue cells could represent some kind of land cover type or a certain elevation, um, some discrete entity that you've mapped out. So it might be kind of small, but this is, says pond and this is no data. So we have blue cells that are mapped as the pond and we have uh, cells in the raster containing no data. So in order to calculate the area of the pond from a raster, we need to know two things. Number one is the area of one cell and then we need to know how many pond cells there are. Um, the resolution is what's going to describe the size of a cell for us. So we can look in the properties and um, look at the XY cell size and find out that it might be a 5 meter DEM, uh, five, sorry, not even a DEM, it could just be a 5 meter raster, 10 meter raster, 30 meter raster. Um, that's the length of one cell size. You could also just grab the measure tool and kind of ballpark it by just measuring across the cell if you zoom in uh, to the point where you can see individual pixels. Okay, so we know that we can get the area of a single cell by squaring the resolution. So we can multiply 5 meters, the length, by 5 meters, the height, to get the area of one cell. In this case, it'd be 25 meters squared. We're squaring both the value and the units. Um, and so then, how many pond cells do we have? In our case, we can just count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Um, in your case, you may be able to open the attribute table and look at the cell count. Um, you may have this divided up where you've created a binary raster and maybe you have cell values um, you know, less than a certain elevation and cell values more than a certain elevation, but if they're in a certain uh, defined area, like inside a watershed, and you're trying to verify your work, you might be able to add up your two cell counts um, and get a total number of cells that maps your entire watershed, and that would be your cell count here. So the pond area from cell area is going to equal this kind of equation the cell area, which we've just calculated from the resolution, multiplied by the number of cells in our pond. So, in our case, it's 25 meters squared. 5 meters times 5 meters times 20 cells equals 500 square meters of total cells, basically. So, here's where we get the squared units from our area of one cell, and then the number of cells that have that area. That's the total area for our pond. Um, I hope that makes sense. It's a way of double checking yourself. You could also go back to your original shape if you have a vector shape file mapping the outline of your pond. You can go into the attribute, attribute table, add an area field, and calculate the area of that, and then compare them. They're not going to be exactly the same because with the rasters we're dealing with um, you know, an unsmoothed edge, but they should be relatively close within, you know, an order of magnitude. So it's just a way of double checking your work and making sure that you are um, not cascading a, a potential problem. So that's it. If you have any questions, let me know. Thank you.